Yo, yo, yo. All right. Hey there, Grandison Shiny, Chief Marketing Officer here at Direct Prices Business Marketing. Direct Business Marketing. There we go. And on with me, I have Mr. Justin Fickham, CEO. CEO. And then we have uh, down below Andrew Hoglum. You know what? I shouldn't say down below because I noticed that when I replayed the video, I'm the one down below. So you're going to be up top. Now I'm saying down below. So anyway, so I just wanted to say, hey, thank you. Always on top. Uh, thank you all very much for attending. What we're going to do is continue our conversation on inbound marketing. We're very specific this time talking about one of the mediums that we didn't talk about last time, which is social media. So I'm of the belief that social media definitely has its place. You have to be social on social media. Social media is a good place to find leads and to attract viewers to a certain particular uh, product or whatever you're going to be introducing, product, service. But it has to be used strategically, I think. I don't think you should talk about all business, and that's what some people make a mistake. But um, So we're going to elaborate on that a little bit today. So that being the at the forefront of our mind topic of our subject matter. So how do we use social media, guys? How do you, What's the, the appropriate way to use social media for an inbound marketing strategy? Right, that's, that's proposed to both of you guys. You want to jump off on this one, Drew? Yeah, I was going to say... I think the one of the most paramount things is to make sure that you separate in your social media uh, strategy strategies for people who are already connected with you and following you uh, and strategies for getting new new followers and reaching out to new people. Um, I think you really need to make sure that in your mind you have those separated um, because once someone's you know, if we take Facebook as an example, you know, once someone's following you um, or has liked your page on Facebook, um, you know, you don't need to constantly hit them over and over and over with a call to action. You know, come buy my product, come buy my product or service, you know, come buy my product or service. Um, and then separate from that, there's, you know, this, the social media um, advertising space you know, boosting your posts and, you know, leveraging the advertising that goes with with social media to to garner new inbound leads. Yeah. Um, I would just add that creating images and videos, things that uh, that you can put on your social media platform um, that entertain and engage your audience uh, are typically a, a good way to start if you don't always have the the right words to say uh you can a lot of businesses or um, entities use inspirational messages um <laughs> just to garner likes or um you know if you put a positive statement out there inherently your followers will like it right um and maybe that that actually brings up another good point um uh, uh, generally speaking, uh, unless you're a thousand percent passionate about some um, controversial issue, you would you should try to avoid uh, commenting and, um, and uh, responding to controversial issues. Hmm. The, other, the other thing I'd just like to point out about social media is that oftentimes businesses forget about the social aspect of social media. So. Uh, if you're on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, um, connect with your clients in a personal way rather than in a business way. And I think Drew kind of alluded to that earlier, uh, not selling over and over and over again. But um, you know, if your if your client uh, has a birthday, then tell them happy birthday. You know, if your client uh, if your client's son just scored a touchdown in Pee Wee football, then give him a good job, give him a pat on the back, be social. Right. right. People buy from who they know, like, and trust, right? Yeah. yeah. Very true. What are some of the more, and, and, and I had this conversation with someone last week. We had a little bit of debate, but I, I guess it really depends on which mediums you're comfortable, you're comfortable with, but which ones would you say are the more, um, more prevalent, I guess you would say, for a small business or, or could, should be more prevalent to small business, small business owners? I don't. I don't think that there's a, a 
you know, like use this one, don't use that one. I think you should use the one, the one that you're familiar with and you're actually going to use. I mean, we were looking at, I mean, just internally, I, we were looking at using a vendor for a specific service and, you know, on their website, they have a link to their social media pages. You know, they have all the links, you know, you're going to check out their Facebook and their Twitter and their Pinterest and everything. And, you know, you go to them and you see that, oh, their last post was in 2013. You know, it makes you feel like, oh, they're not active. Sure. You know, they're not very active. So I would say, as opposed to saying, hey, you must use Facebook or you must use Instagram, I would say you should use the ones that you're actually going to use. You know, if you're comfortable using Instagram, then use Instagram. And if you're never going to post on Twitter, then don't have the little Twitter link on your website. You know, yeah. that's that's what people want. If you're going to be, uh, you know, that's the main thing. Be social and be active. Um, so, if, you know, if you're not going to post on a regular basis or comment or be involved with people, you know, in your social sphere, then don't bother having the little icon on your website. You know, only include the ones you're going to be active with. And if that means you only have one, then you only have one. You know, if you can have a larger company and you, you know, have people managing it on a regular basis, then you can be active, you know, in, in all of the different social media. So I guess that's a long answer to your question. I don't think there's one silver bullet. It's the one that you're going to use. That is the silver bullet. Because if you're not, if you're not using it uh, yourself, then it's going to become more easy to do. Yeah, it's going to become a daily task that you have to make sure you get to uh, rather than something you do inherently. Um, yeah. The other thing to keep in mind is the right medium for you. Uh, if you're comfortable using a variety of different social media platforms, the right medium for you is the one that your clientele, your potential clients uh, is gravitating to. So if you've got a product for 15 year olds, then you should probably start to figure out how Snapchat works. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, if, if you have a, a product for Generation X, uh, you know, the, the late 20s, early 30s, 40s, 50s, and Facebook might be the right place. Twitter seems to be uh, pretty popular for the 20-somethings right now. Um, but obviously, mm -hmm. uh, your clients are going to tell you how, how uh, or you should know how your clients use social media and which platforms they prefer. Right. right. Yeah. And part, part of that is, um, you know, don't be scared to incorporate your social media with your normal marketing that you're doing. You know, if you're, if you post something on Facebook and want to get people to interact with you on Facebook and you have a, an email campaign, incorporate the email campaign, um, you know, incorporate the link to your Facebook inside your email campaign. So you can, you can cross, you know, leverage cross mediums to increase followers on one medium. True, true, true. One of the aspects of our conversation that I expounded on was, hey, whichever medium you use, there's some principles there, of course. You can add an image to that, as Dustin was talking about earlier. You can tease the content several different times before before a date certain if you have an event. And then you can also make sure you create that call to action that I think Drew's talking about or that jump URL to where the call to action is or where they can partake into whatever it is that you're offering. So I think those three aspects of any social media campaign that has those components, it has the ability to be successful. Again, just adding the image, Pitch can say a thousand words. I know you've heard that before. Adding teasing the content over and over before the date of an event or whatever, and then or a product launch. It doesn't have to just be an event. And then uh, jump the URL. So thank you very much, guys. I appreciate your input on that. I'm adhering to our promise. We're going to keep these nice, short, and sweet. And um, we have one more that we're going to do today, and then we'll be good for uh, looking at the replays. Now, if you want to understand if Inbound marketing is right for you. We have a free tool that you can use. It's at our website, directbusinessmarketing.com forward slash BMC. It's a virtual marketing consultation 
It will give you the answers. Be, you know, it's pretty cool. Check it out. So uh, again, it's directlyzmarketing.com forward slash BMC. I'm Brandon Shines with Dustin Pickpon, Manager Goldblum, signing out until next time. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.